So we got a big, big news right here. If you guys can see, uh, oh my God, what on this monitor? Hold up. Um, it's this one. All right, perfect. So what's going on right now is at long last, uh, I should fit this to screen. Ah, uh, please. Oh my God, where is it at? Fit the screen, here we go. Is that... New Jersey and Shinano ultra rare gacha ships are now going to be perma pooled. So how's it going to be perma pooled? It's going to work in a weird formula. Um, the best way for me to explain it is simply like this. So these ships will be in their um, designated pool. So Shinano has been special. And um, so I'll show it to you guys in game actually. Shinano is going to be in the special pool. And uh, New Jersey is going to be in the heavy pool, right? So what happens here is that it is a accumulative pity of 400. I believe it doesn't matter where you pull that. You can pity whatever ship, if I'm not mistaken, um, as long as the total goes up to 400 cubes. So if you pull on, say, the special banner 10 times, that's going to be 20 cubes or 20 points. Heavy banner in uh, 50 times, that's going to be 100 points or 100 cubes. And then you got to finish off the other 200 pulls or 140 pulls in some other banner. And then finish up. As long as the cube count goes up to um, 400, you should be okay. And then after that, you pick whatever ship you want and you should be fine. And during events... Uh, this won't stack towards this. So if you pull on the event banner right here, it won't go towards any of these pity pools. It has to be in the permit pool, and that's how you got to spend the cubes. So what does this mean? It means you guys that missed out on Shinano in New Jersey that desperately wants them can now get them. Uh, but the issue is, as of right now, though, it's you got to spend on the permit pool, which sucks because um, some of you guys already are struggling with cubes, so... Now you guys got Pearl of the Permanent Pool, so that kind of sucks. But if you're a new, new player, <clears throat> for the first time in Azure Lane history, I can finally tell people, and I encourage them, to re-roll their accounts. I know it sounds weird, and some of you guys may think I'm crazy and stuff like that, uh, but if you're absolutely new on your account, it probably is pretty wise to re-roll. I don't know how many cubes you got on re-roll uh, nowadays, but... You can probably re-roll your accounts if uh, you want to do it that way. I know it sounds weird. People are going to be like, Kimo, I disagree. You, you don't have to re-roll. You'll just work, solely work on a pity. You can do that. You absolutely can do that. But getting that early UR ship is a pretty big power spike for a lot of players. Because if you guys don't already know, all ships in this game, all rarities except UR, they cap out at 70 without the use of bullens or duplicates. You have a lot of ships right here capped at 70, and they cannot go any further than 70. But UR ships, they can go very, very high up. They, they don't have a cap. They can go basically to max level cap, and they won't get gated because they're UR ships until you get bullens, which gives them more stats added onto it. But they're not capped at 70. So if you're a new player, and you're struggling with bullens or whatever, Having that UR ship lets you bypass that little uh, wall that you have for a um, for a ship. It makes you really stronger. So I know it sounds weird, and I know I probably sound very weird for saying this, but in, uh, re rerolling now is actually a viable method because you save a lot of time and you get a really good jump uh, on your uh, account. So I got to figure out or I got to see what they're going to do with it completely. But I know for a fact that if you want to get UR ships now, you have to pity 400. You can pull them naturally, but it's still the same 1.2% chance. So it's still pretty low, but you can still pull for them. However, now if you're absolutely starting, re-rolling now is actually a viable strategy. Assuming you're not doing it during an event or whatever, but it's actually a viable strategy now. <laughs> So, yeah, interesting. Uh, I will talk more about this when the update goes live. Probably either next update or the update after this one. I think it's the update after this one, though. Or, uh, 
Maybe it's this one. I'm not even sure. Oh, no. January 18th. Um, it says it right here. January 18th. So, yeah. Uh, you guys can get Shinano now in New Jersey. I'll be making another video about this uh, in two weeks from now. But, yeah. I want to see your thoughts on it. It's finally coming out. Shinano, New Jersey are finally getting reruns. So, people can stop asking me, Kimo, when's Shinano rerun or New Jersey rerun? Here you go. Uh, it's a permanent pool. You can get it whenever you want. It's just going to be very expensive. And you probably don't have any cubes left over. So, yeah, this sucks. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments and whatever in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video as always. I'll also leave the post in the description as well too. Anyways, have a good day, guys.